Uh, the Biden administration is poised to do away with conscious protections, possibly by the end of the month. Politico reports the White House wants to scrap Trump-era rules allowing medical workers to refuse services that do not align with their religious and moral beliefs. HHS has confirmed a policy change may be underway. I And joining me now is Ryan Bankert, senior counsel and vice president for legal strategy at the Alliance Defending Freedom. Ryan, welcome back. Always so good to see you. Um, let's talk a little bit more about this and what would happen if the conscious protections put in place by the Trump administration are revoked. Well, Tracy, there are federal laws that protect the consciences of medical providers, doctors, nurses, and others from being forced to perform services that violate their deeply held religious beliefs, their conscience. These federal laws, however, are not always enforced. And several years ago, a couple years ago, the Trump administration implemented the conscience rule, which required federal HHS to actually make good on those promises. And if that rule is revoked, well, the message from the Biden administration is now, medical providers, you're on your own. And Ryan, I'm curious, you know, why does the Biden administration want to revoke these conscious protections? I mean, what's fueling all of this? Well, unfortunately, Tracy, the Biden administration has been very clear that it intends to advance a very aggressive pro-abortion agenda. And not only that, but it has aggressively interpreted the word sex and non-discrimination statutes to advance the, uh, the transgender agenda as well. And these conscience protections get in the way of that agenda. And let's talk also about the impact, um, you know, healthcare systems uh, like Catholic hospitals, if this were reversed, what would happen? Well, unfortunately, physicians who work for medical providers who receive federal funds and whose consciences are violated, if they're told they have to perform services that violate their conscience, they'll no longer have an avenue to complain to the federal government about the violation of their federal rights. Instead, they'll be on their own. They'll have to go to federal courts uh, in an attempt to enforce rights that the federal government through HHS should already be enforcing in the first place. Yeah, and legally, I'm curious, what kind of recourse, uh, if any, would healthcare workers have, you know, if they object to performing procedures that go against their beliefs? Well, unfortunately, the recourse they should have is to complain to HHS, which is providing federal funds uh, to several of these outfits uh, that are subject to federal conscience protections. They should be able to complain to HHS. By stripping away the conscience rule, that avenue is gone. Their only choice will be to go into federal court and seek redress on their own. Ryan, I guess what would be, you know, the big takeaway here? And what else do you want our viewers to know about this if this were to happen? Well, unfortunately, Tracy, this just represents an abandonment by the current administration of a commitment to enforce federal law that protects the conscience of medical providers, doctors, nurses, and others who simply want to honor their faith in the way they practice medicine. But apparently that's no longer something that this administration is going to prioritize or even honor. And we have probably about 30 seconds or so left, Ryan. Um, but curious, uh, what else you're following right now? We're following a number of different things, Tracy. One thing that we're very concerned about right now is the violation of parental rights in our public school systems. Uh, we have seen uh, some things that have happened that have been very troubling, in particular public schools with policies that require teachers and other staff to honor requests from students to engage in gender transition without the knowledge or consent of those students' parents. Uh, we're challenging policies like that all across the country right now as gross violations of parental rights. All right, Ryan, we're gonna leave it right there. Thank you so much for your time and analysis. We always appreciate it. Thank you, Tracy.